He's still breathing, apparently, but he looks far from recovered, unfortunately. Okay. I think I was supposed to hop into the fan. Bad game. <laughs> Bad design, dude. It's driving me bonkers. Okay. I mean, I just don't even understand. How can so many chapters be so good? And then they just really whiff twice in a row. There's got to be a fast forward button. Fast forward would be essential. And if there was, it would make it so much easier and better. Because nobody wants to wait until the end, dude. Literally the last thing that happens. I'm complaining too much on this stream. Any waits, any waits, any waits. Plug. the next step now about this medicine bottle it's very rare that a game will get me to fully quit except for outer wilds if the minister is going to make a full recovery i have to deliver this thing to him but how is a ghost with no hands or feet supposed to do that i guess i'll just have to use my head instead so i was trying to solve a puzzle that is supposed to take four minutes in a no time i still gotta solve it though Wrong way. Please start me in the van. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't do your monologue again. Don't do your monologue again, I said! Don't do it again! Skip the monologue! Nobody wants to hear it! What's gonna be funny is that I'm wrong. <laughs> What's gonna be funny is if I'm actually just wrong. I do think I get points for trying so hard. So maybe if I have the medicine bottle on the other end, that's it, isn't it? All right, just gotta do it all again. Just gotta do it all again. Mm. Easy peasy, doing it all again. Because once is just simply not enough. Again. And you better believe we're gonna hear the monologue. Here we go again. Oh, truly riveting gameplay. Yeah, bro, I know time is passing, homie. It's just not okay, dude. What's the point of a save feature if it doesn't work? I wanted to start from that point where I was, precisely where I was. That's why the save feature is there. If I wanted to go back to the auto save, I would go back to the auto save. What do you mean? 
why would you take me back all this way? What are you thinking? All right, we're not trusting Sade ever again. Never, ever again, never, ever again. I mean, I might as well scroll through TikTok or something. Those of you that know my secret, you know that whenever I get quiet, I'm actually tired of games. I'm actually frustrated, and I am uh, I'm quiet. Okay, spin the fan faster, rather than the side of the room where the medicine is. Only interact with the frame above the window. Uh, lower the knight's arm, reach the right side of the room, turn the globe stand so it knocks over the vase, loosen the other side of the frame to drop it, creating a seesaw. Roll the globe so it lands on the right side, then use the curtain to return to the left. Turn the fruit stand around, then rock it so that the other side lands on the seesaw, launching the globe. When it lands on the sword, spin it to knock the medicine bottle. Nope, nope, I don't think I turned this one. I better be right. I'm fine. I'm fine. This is fun. Aren't video games fun? Don't you guys love video games? Video games are so good, you guys. Video games, video games are the best. I love video games. I love video games. Video games are fun. Video games are cool and fun and cool and fun and I love them. And I love them because they're cool and they're fun. And I love fun and cool things, which video games are. And I love how fun and cool they are. That's what I love about them and that's why I love them. And that's why I always play them is because they are so very, very cool, and so very, very fun as this video game is very cool. And that's where I stand on video games and their coolness and their funness, which is where I'm at. I'm at a point where I think video games are cool and fun. Unequivocally. Don't question it. Video games are cool and fun, and I think that about them. And that's that's how I feel about them, is I, I feel, I feel personally here, me, I feel that video games are fun. That's how I feel right now. That's how I think about it right now, and that's where I'm at. Is that I think that this, I think that this game and video games in general are fun, and that's how I feel. I feel that they're fun. I feel that. Way. I don't feel any other way. I would never, because I feel personally, personally, I feel that video games. Are fun. I always have a fun time with video games, and that's how I feel. And that's how I feel about video. Games. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. That's too much medicine. That's too much medicine. That's simply too much. There, the minister finally took his medicine. I think maybe he even took too much of his medicine. I don't care. I hope he took too much, dude. I don't mean that. Such a greedy man. Huh? He's supposed to take two capsules of water. Why doesn't he know that? Uh, cut the guy some slack. There, see? I'm kind of glad this stream is ending early. <laughs> Ooh, that was a lot of work. Woo, that was a lot of work. Woo, that was a lot of work. Well, hopefully this taught him a lesson. Huh? He greatly underestimated his dependence on his medicine. I hope he learned something from this experience. First, know yourself. That is the key to everything. I think you need to listen to your own advice. Anyway, let's go back to the world of the present. Ooh, buddy. Who is tired? Huh? I think I earned myself a cookie. And so the Minister of Justice is now back to life, but the furrows on his brow are even deeper now, and so are Nerd Pastor Nate's. And apparently, our lady detective is the present cause of these furrows. Look, detective, he was sentenced after a fair trial, and the man himself wants to be executed. But there was no evidence. All they had was his own confession. 
But it was no ordinary confession. It was the confession of a, of a esteemed detective. I told you I don't want anybody coming near me. Mr. Minister, please listen to me. I might be able to gather new evidence in that case tonight. What? So please, please, just give me a little more time. I just got a call from the prison. Your death row convict apparently just escaped. What? Unfortunately, after all this time, it seems he now wants to dodge his punishment. B but When he's apprehended, his sentence will be carried out. Tonight. No. But when the sentence was handed down, you were against enforcing the death penalty. So why did you sign the order all of a sudden? Well, I, I was simply performing my duty as Justice Minister. That's all there is to it. Hit me. Sissel, there you are. Sounds like the minister is being very stubborn. That's right, he is. Maybe we shouldn't have saved him after all. The minister has to have the execution carried out tonight. And he has a very good reason for it. A good reason? I told Lynn what I had learned about the kidnapping. Kidnapping? They kidnapped the Justice Minister's daughter? Apparently. Oh my goodness. But still... That's still no reason to hurry forward with the execution. Why don't you go ahead and say that to the Justice Minister then? Mm -hmm. Poor man. I hate to do that to him. Oh, by the way... Do you think you could carry me? Oh right, sure. Not very handy, is it, having no legs? Boink. Is she gonna come at him with a sword? <laughs> what are you doing to that globe? Crack me in the head with it? Oh, this? <laughs> pay no attention to this. It's kind of hard not to pay attention to it. By the way, and please pardon me if this is a silly question, were you talking to somebody just now? Of course not, right? I mean, there's no such thing as ghosts, right? Are you talking about me? Ah! No, there's no such thing. This is a dream. It's nothing but a dream. Don't you remember me? My dream is talking to me! So now I'm a dream, huh? Mr. Minister? We know. We know about your daughter. She was kidnapped, wasn't she? <laughs> and if the execution doesn't pl take place tonight, you won't see her again. <laughs> Your medicine, your medicine! Oh, what am I going to do? The death row prisoner has escaped. If he isn't executed tonight, my daughter, my Amelie! But what if that execution isn't the right thing to do? Yay! Come on, Lynn. If you keep pressing him like that, he's gonna die again. What can I do then? We have to do something about that kidnapping. Until we do that, it'll be impossible to get the minister on our side. That's the way I see it. I think I'll start by gathering info on the kidnapping and the only way they'll have. Okay. So now is the right time? Okay. Okay, sure, why not? I really should pay the kidnapper's hideout a visit. After all, if we want the justice minister to come around, we have to solve the problem first. I feel like I'm slowly moving away from my own mystery. But I'm not the kind of guy who can abandon a little lady in trouble, so I guess I'm in this for a little while longer. You actually don't know what kind of guy you are, and I'm beginning to hypothesize that you might be a bad guy. I'm beginning to hypothesize that we might just be a bad guy. We'll certainly see. Chapter 11. Burger King Foot Lettuce. Justice Minister's daughter has been abducted. The kidnappers demand the execution of the death row prisoner Zhao to be carried out tonight. Lin says the execution is a mistake, and I believe her. So I'm paying the kidnappers hideout a visit to see what I can find out about the abduction. Namely, that it's fake. What took you so long? Your instinct was right, beauty, my dear. They had that restaurant surrounded. It took me forever to shake them, and now my poor bike is running for the scrap heap. Next time. 
next time, maybe you should make it a tricycle and don't hurt yourself. Oh, that hurts, Beauty, but that's okay. That's what I love about you. Boink. Is this that room from earlier? Be a little more gentle with our valuable hostage, please. Yes, yes. Always keep a smile on a lady's face, right, my dear? There, see that, Beauty? Now there's a smile blooming on your face too, my dear. Yes, a wry smile. I'm going out for a breath of fresh air. You're on guard duty. All right, I'll dream of you till you return. Why don't you open the trunk for our guest? I will, Beauty. I was just taking a little breather. Is it going to be that cat? All right, little lady. Let me open that trunk for you. We haven't seen that cat since the very beginning of the game. Beauty. Did he fall asleep? Looks like the Justice Minister's daughter really has been kidnapped and something else is bothering me too. I don't think I've ever been to this room before, but something about it is giving me a strange sense of deja vu. I've seen something like this before. Yeah, we absolutely have. Ah, it's gonna set it aflame. Set it aflame! See, that is good game design. That's a good puzzle. That's a good puzzle. Sometimes the puzzles are so good, sometimes the puzzles are really, really bad. Yay! I've had two awful chapters in a row. I can't reach my destination from here. I hope this one's better. Sconce. Well, that made no difference at all. Okay, cool. And why would it? Faster, faster. Ooh, I see. Good puzzle. That's what I'm saying, man. This game, this game sometimes gets it and sometimes does not understand. Like right now, this is a good puzzle. We're playing, we're playing a good puzzle right now. That didn't feel like the right thing. Why do I all of a sudden feel like I made a mistake? Maybe I, maybe I can get in the ball now. Super helpful, thanks. Ooh. Just my imagination. Now can I catch that? It was an accident. So what's the point of the balance toy? Hmm. 
Actually, what's the point of anything that just happened? Spinning faster. Spinning faster. As a matter of fact, that helped me none. Hmm. But why? Why would it help me none? I mean, there must be some reason for this string. <sighs> How long will it burn brighter for? Yes! Yes! But again, the question remains, but why? Did I have to do that? Okay. Good puzzle. Good puzzle. Good. Good stuff. That's not the that's not the daughter at all. What in the, what's going on here? This little lady is. Yeah, it's missiles, missiles, whatever. Is this little lady really the daughter of the justice minister? No. They grabbed the wrong girl. I love her little cup holder. <laughs> Just my imagination. Huh? They grabbed the wrong gal. But it's still a very important girl to us. What's with the fun back book and juice? Like I said, as always, a smile on a lady's face. I wanted to treat our guests well. What about treating me well? I'd like some bread and milk, please. That's your service, my dear. Be back in a flash. Hey, mister? Yes, cute little lady. More juice, perhaps. All you have to do is ask. Have I been kidnapped? <laughs> Don't cry, little dear. There's nothing to be afraid of. The surroundings are miserable and filthy, I know, but we just ask for a little patience. Don't say those awful things about this house. Hmm? This house is... Where I used to live. What? What? I apologize, little lady. I'm the one who's miserable and filthy. Forgive me. What's the meaning of this beauty? Why well, here at this girl's own house? Don't ask me. It was the other party in our deal who chose this location. Oh, I see. It's been empty for five years, and apparently nobody ever comes here. But never mind that. What about my bread and milk? No, oh, of course. Now, you be a good girl while I'm gone. Don't know why that's his voice either. You just read your book and drink your juice. No, I want to go home. Not quite yet. Okay, <laughs> she goes back to reading. All right. This dilapidated place was Camilla's old house. What's going on here? Hasn't Camilla died before, so can I talk to her? What in the world? Why does the little lady have a core of the dead? When I helped her out at Lynn's apartment, she didn't have one. So that must mean 
She must have died sometime after that. And it also means somebody else must have saved her. Missile! Missile saved her life! I better ask her what happened. I guarantee you it's the dog. It's gotta be the dog. Oh my goodness. Who's there? Oh, wait a minute. Is that you, Missile? Missile! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not Missile. My name's Sissel, which sounds way too much like Missile. Sissel? My name is Camilla. Camilla. So it is her. I knew it. What happened to me? What is this place? I can hardly tell the poor little thing this is the land of the dead. The land of the dead? Does that mean I'm dead? Darn, I forgot there are no secrets in the ghost world. You can relax. You're not dead. But this isn't the first time you've been here, apparently. Really? I don't remember. Wait a minute. Maybe I do remember, sort of. You do? Looks like she doesn't remember being saved very well. So there's some other dead person out there with special powers, huh? Apparently. Anyway, I don't want to press her if she doesn't remember dying. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions about something else? Sure, go ahead, sissy. Sissy, huh? <laughs> Kidnapping. Lynn asked me to do something for her tonight. I know about that part. She asked you to go to the chicken kitchen on Dead End Drive, right? Yeah, but I never got there. Now I wish I could say I'm sorry to her. I should have never gone to that park. What park? Timsick Park. It's a shortcut to Dead End Drive. Is that where the kidnappers grabbed you? Yeah. Lynn always said I don't like that park. Scary things happen there. Timsick Park, huh? What am I going to do? Lynn's going to be mad. She is? How come? Because I left it there. The music box. In the park. That's right, the music box. I need that music box. That music box was hidden in the apartment. I finally found it with a little bit of luck and courage. And guess where it was? Mm, I don't know where. I'll pretend I don't know. You know. You don't have to humor me. Ugh. So what happened to the music box? I hid it in the bushes at the park just before it happened. Just before? Oh, just before you were kidnapped, huh? I didn't want the bad man to take it, so I hid it. I bet it's still there in the park. You did well. So the music box is in the park? I better let Lynn know. This is your old house? Yep, this is where we lived until five years ago. Now I live with Lynn and Missile. Lynn is like a big sister to you, isn't she? Yep, she's a detective, you know. She's a hero. She is, huh? By the way, about your father. <laughs> is he the justice minister? My father is gone. Gone? Maybe he passed away? No, that's not it. My dad. He's going to die. Ah, and it's all because of me. What? What do you mean because of me? Why would you say that? It's called an execution. My dad is a detective. No way! Don't tell me your father is Detective Jowd! That's right. What in the world? Five years ago, something really bad happened. Like a scary dream, but it wasn't a dream. Five years ago? That murder case. I wasn't expecting this. It was mom's birthday that day. My mom and dad were working and I was home by myself. Then I had an idea. I was going to surprise my mom and I set up that contraption. Did Camilla kill her mom? Why is it dark? Dude, if Camilla killed her mom, <laughs> that's going to absolutely blow my mind. No! What? Camilla killed her mom? And the dad is taking the blame for it? What? Are you actually joking right now? <laughs> what is happening? I was not expecting this. What? <laughs> I, I, I don't, I guess, I, I guess the, I guess the mystery solved. What, dude? I, I still can't believe it happened. Me neither. It wasn't supposed to work like that. Mm, I know that contraption, and I know how it was supposed to work. Party poppers in the cake, a birthday message. Maybe, maybe it's the graveyard guy? My dad told me not to tell anybody. Just leave it to me, he said, so he took the blame. My dad wanted to be executed. He asked them for it. But I wanted to tell everybody it was my fault. My dad said what I saw was a bad dream. He told me to forget it. This is also unbelievably tragic. <laughs> what, dude? This is blowing my mind. This is blowing my mind. Oh, 
Ooh-wee, that's quite a pickle, Mr. Minister. Quite a pickle. Oh. Miss me, baby. 